Hi. <laughs> it's that cult guy again. Here I am. I'm back. Uh, it's been a minute and that is my problem, not yours. I apologise. I've been working on a number of different things. Time has been escaping me and honestly, even today, I was like, no, I can't record today. I've just got in from work. But here we are. We're making time. We're doing this. I'm going to get you up to speed on the projects I've been working on on the exciting things I've got coming up, on the ups and downs of life over the last six, eight months. And yeah, get everyone up to speed so that um, people stop unsubscribing, basically. <laughs> no, we're just gonna chat. The, the lighting's minimal, the camera's a bit crappy, but here we are, we're gonna chat and talk about my life over the last six to eight months and what it's gonna look like for the next couple. So let's, let's do that, shall we? Okay, so what's been going on? I should have a script, but I don't, so we're just gonna talk from the top of my head. Um, why did I disappear? I disappeared because Quite honestly, uni takes priority. I've said that a number of times. Um, the workload got quite heavy, exams and all of that. And so I just prioritized us, what I'm always gonna do. And that's what happened. I'm, I'll admit it kind of lingered a little bit. You know, I wanted to enjoy the Christmas break. I wanted some time uh, where I didn't feel like I had to do YouTube. So I did it. So yeah, there's no crazy reason. Uh, but there has been a number of things that have been going on in that time. I haven't just completely not been working on YouTube or, or activism or, or work in this space. Um, so what's been going on? Well, first of all, there's been a number of news organisations, what, three or four different ones, that have reached out for help with an investigation or a news report or a podcast, this kind of thing. Uh, that's been... Yeah, taking up a little bit of time and, and mental strain. If you're an ex-witness, you know the kind of awkwardness you have about speaking to the media, perhaps. You know, you're trained as a witness not to speak out, not to tell people how things really are. So getting over that hurdle was something. But I did it. And um, yeah, that's been pretty eye-opening even to help them and, and, and point them in directions. And, and basically, it's nice just to be able to help isn't it? You know, when you've gone through something traumatic or some something, an experience that's unique to be able to help other people understand or help people um, leave or, or just help people. It's, it's good, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's not that far of a jump to make, is it? Also, I've been having to work um, a little bit with a lawyer and I can't quite go into detail, but on a completely unrelated note, the next video you'll see on this channel uh, is, is something I've been working on for a while. It's very exciting, I think. Um, in fact, I think the thumbnail should be ready. So now you will be seeing the thumbnail. And it's quite a big claim, I think, that I'm making. But I think it's legit. Like, I mean, I'll change the thumbnail if it's not legit. But... I'm pretty sure this has never been done before and it's very, 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 very exciting to me. I must admit it doesn't really fit too much with my ethos of like moving on and forgetting, or not forgetting, but like making a new life. I mean, that's the ch channel direction is to help people either see my life moving on or how to help people's lives move on rather than getting stuck in a loop. However, it was such a unique juicy opportunity to maybe annoy some people or just be talk about something interesting so I, yeah this will this that's happening <laughs> um that has taken up a lot of time i will admit not only in the recording and editing but also in paperwork to make sure everything is squeaky clean um i asked youtube and reddit i think if i should do it if it's worth because i can't quite give too much information or a lot of resources. I can't give all the stuff that I normally would to it, but um, you will see how that video does. Also, I've been doing something that I didn't think I would do, and that 
let me get this. This this will help. <clears throat> so I've been doing this. Um, what is this? This is a UPS folder, and inside are many many documents. And um, what I did basically was um, I asked the Bethel to under European law, destroy the records that they had on me to, you know, collect my personal data back, basically. Um, and this, this whole thing here, this is them saying no. <laughs> um, that was the whole thing. Um, I'll, I don't know, I don't know if I can show you, but there is a lot of information here and basically in German, they responded um, back and where is it? Well, first of all, it says, this is a rough translation. It says that just so you're aware, we can also send data to world headquarters in America and then it's outside of our control, which is a bit weird. Um, I think that's basically to say if any push comes to shove, they won't have it. <laughs> if, if they don't want it, they won't have it. Um, and it also says, um, that you know they're going to keep some data for 11 years you know i'm sure lots of that is legally you know they probably have to but the key that they said that i found so astonishing um, which they don't normally do for normal witnesses it must be because i'm a bethelite or because they hate me um so they said you want to delete your personal data um but they quote a paragraph in their own terms and conditions basically which says that um they will delete personal data. This is, again, rough translation off literally while I'm filming. Um, they will delete data under specific circumstances. And they, we, it says, we have checked and we don't feel there are specific circumstances for the deletion of your personal data. And then they go on and, yeah. So basically all of this is them saying no in a million ways and a copy of the data that they do have so like some of it is really i mean i obviously was a bethelite so i knew they collected data but like things like i mean i'm not going to show you but like they've got like my bank details um they've got a copy of like some like um uh, uh what's it called in english like my car receipts, like work that happened on my car, my number plate. I mean, that's in the video, so who cares? But like, um, they've, they've even got the days specifically that I took holiday. Like, why do you need that information? I don't know. Uh, no one knows. They've also listed like information. I'm guessing this is from Hub because it's not a document, but just literally kind of copied and pasted. They've got my birth date. They've got my birthplace, my um, Bethel number. They've got in every congregation I was, all of the different statuses I had, which is actually long. So <laughs> I was doing really well. Uh, they've got my insurance numbers for health insurance. They've got my phone number, my passport number. They've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different copies of legal documents they say I've signed, probably under duress. Um, I mean, there was just, it's astonishing. But um, I wasn't overly worried. I'm not one of these people, you know, who's like, oh my goodness, data protection, all of that stuff. But I just wanted, you know, to feel like, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. And I was astonished they said no. I thought I would just be getting like a yes. Here, Here's, you know, proof we've done it and then probably they didn't but to outright say no we're not going to do it we're not going to delete your data because we don't feel you fulfilled the terms and conditions that we've made seems sketchy if there's a lawyer out there who wants to investigate feel free to reach out youtube at benford.com but yeah that took up some time and mental space as well I mean, if you want to do it, there's many websites that will explain how to do it. They'll give you tips of what to say, um, especially in, in the EU or uh, in the UK. But it does take some mental, for me at least, it took a little bit of a mental toll in as much as I'm communicating again with Bethel, which is something I never thought I would do um, because they're not allowed to talk to me. This is 
they're only talking to me because they have a legal requirement to. Um, so it was a bit strange, I will admit. Um, so go for it if you want to, but be prepared that that might not be as simple as, you know, deleting a Facebook account or something. Um, so I'm just putting that out there. Anyway, that's, I'm gonna put that there. <laughs> that's that. What else has been going on? Um, personal life, I got into and out of a relationship. I got into and out of a relationship. Again, that takes time and mental space to to process. Um, that's, yeah, that's been taking up time and resources. Oh, we are still recording, good. Actually, that's really good to talk about because I recorded an hour video about something and it turned out I didn't push record on the camera. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. So um, that video is lost in time. University's been going pretty well. I don't know if you have been seeing, but um, actually maybe this is a good time to talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, I built a website, benford.com. It is basically kind of like a blog slash website. I don't really know what it's gonna turn into, but I'm pretty proud of it because I coded it all uh, and got everything running. It looks quite simple, I guess, but to get things like that running on different screen sizes and whatever is quite complex. So I'm happy it matches the branding and yeah, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed. That's where I, I post now, basically. I don't, I think Twitter's gone, um, how do I say this in a correct manner? Twitter is in a, Twitter's having a difficult day. <laughs> so I wanted a place where I could just talk freely about things and that's what this website is. Uh, you can create an account on the, the website. You can log in with your Facebook account or, or whatever, Google, I think, as well, um, or create a, your own account on the website. And then you can comment on things if you want to shout at me for whatever reason. Um, and also, this is a bit of a change in stance for me, but I've created something... I think it's pretty cool, but... Um, I've created something. It's called Early Bird. And basically what it is, is um, a subscription for getting videos that I make early. Now I know what you're saying. Haven't you always been against that? You don't want that. That sounds horrible. You're so, you're hypocritical. Yes. <laughs> it's not really a money, money thing. <laughs> um, as evidenced by the fact that Early Bird is $1.99 dollars, pounds, euros, um, next to nothing, you could probably leave the subscription and forget about it for a year. And what does it cost you? Like 20 quid. Um, but it gets you early video access. And it's kind of a platform that I want to build on. So I've built all of the code for this myself. It doesn't use Patreon. It doesn't use um, Google, YouTube, Premium or whatever it is. Uh, you just go to the website, click a button, become a subscriber, and then I process that and you become a member. And then when you log into the site, you get access to additional things, including early videos. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty chuffed. It's more me just playing around with code and seeing what's possible. Um, like for instance, like Patreon, I don't know what they take, but it's like 20% or something of a membership fee. Whereas doing it all myself, you lower that dramatically. So if I can prove this system out, you know, and I can say, look, you know, 10 people do this, this is the percentage. I could like recreate that model for other people and then sell the code, like what? Anyway, I'm basically just messing about. But if you want to support that, please do. Um, I've made a little weird graphic that I'm going to include in some videos just to remind people that it exists. But yeah, all of it, all my content will always be free on YouTube um, eventually. Um, and by eventually, I mean a couple of days later. So it's really not a big deal. It's not a lot of money. You don't have to do it. Um, but if you're so inclined, feel free to, to do that. Um, there's probably gonna be some bugs because I have coded everything myself. So please email me. Um, I've set up a dedicated earlybird at ben4.com email address for any issues you get with doing that. And like I say, it's really not a money thing. So if you sign up and you're like, oh my God, like I actually hate you for X, Y, Z, 
just email me and I'll sort it out. No problem. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm kind of excited about all that code. Learning all of this stuff at uni and putting it into practice um, with you guys, is, I think, is kind of cool. Like, I don't know, it feels like, you know, what if one day I can build an app that explains why witnesses are a cult? Um, or, you know, just like, I think it's cool. I'm excited. So I've been doing that. So we've got the website. We've got this big video coming up. We've got... Um, early bird membership early bird membership starts now i guess so you can go onto the website benford.com and see early bird or benford.com forward slash early bird to get straight there and then you'll get this big video i guess a couple of days early um and that'll be cool i guess in other news uh, my bike finally came i don't know if you remember if i spoke about that but i ordered a bike because the bus was very annoying and expensive I ordered it early 2022 and it's arrived early 2023 because of some global crisis and pandemic or whatever. Um, that's been great. I'm not having to use public transport now so I can get to places by myself, which is great. Um, I haven't even spoke about Santander. Um, Santander, the bank, they do things like giveaways and um, scholarships that you can apply for. And they had a scholarship program where you could apply if you are in an underrepresented group or in a group that's been disadvantaged. Um, and obviously, I fell into some of those categories quite easily, including one from estranged from family, which I thought was quite um, good of them to include. Anyway, so I applied and got in which is crazy so i'm now a santander scholar um that just means that they'll help out a little bit with um the uni experience financially they also open some doors for uh experiences for like employment and helping with cv um bolstering yeah i'm very very excited about that i'm very grateful that that was an opportunity I have also heard rumours that there's another witness who's been accepted onto the programme. So I'm trying my best to wheedle my way in and say hi to whoever that turns out to be. Yeah, but uh, it's exciting. That's really cool. It's The thing that really struck me about that was, you know, when you leave a high control group that's taught you that the world is dangerous and scary and et cetera, et cetera. To be accepted not only by the friends you make and the people around you, but by an organization um, who kind of says, we see you and we recognize that the experience you're having is difficult. That was kind of cool. It was like the world kind of patting you on the back. And all, just that term has been changing for me even. Like it used to, the world used to be everyone but us basically. And now the world is the world. Like, it, I don't know how to describe it, but your understanding or my understanding of that word has changed. And the, the more it changes, the more... The more I feel part of a community. And by community, I mean people. Like, when you're in the street, when you're in town, you're one of them. You're one of everyone. You're not specially selected from God to survive an upcoming uh, Armageddon you are all just trying to be good people and work your way through life and, and have fun. And I don't know, it's, I'm a bit, I'm rambling. Santander has been helping. I'm very grateful and excited to start working with them. You'll probably see some stuff about that on the website. Um, I've got a couple of events they want me to go to and we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. I've also changed rooms, obviously. Um, where I live, there was a bigger room available and now I'm here, which is cool. I, I don't know if you can tell it's bigger because the camera's like halfway in, but it's probably double the size of that last room I was in, which is great for filming and for life. <laughs> um, so yeah, lots of stuff. Oh my goodness, I got Eurovision tickets. Don't know if I, I've probably never spoken about this because I've done what, like six videos but I'm a massive Eurovision fan and I got tickets to the to the semi-final in Liverpool. That's happening in two weeks, which will probably be before this video 
goes live. So that's still yet to come. Anyway, Eurovision's happening. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm going up, staying for a couple of days and cannot wait. I'm going to be in Eurovision. Oh my God, I'm really, really excited about that. Oh, I've got tickets to the Book of Mormon coming up, which if you don't know, is a musical about the Mormons. But when you listen to the music, which I recommend you do, it, it you relate so much to it as a ex-witness. It's incredible, the similarities as a religion, but like as when they do a musical about it, it really helps you see how insane some of their beliefs are, which makes you realise how insane some witness beliefs are uh, when you start talking about it naturally. So interesting. So I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. Got so much going on. Um, exam season is approaching. Um, I'm going to try and basically the plan now is, you know, we've got the website, we've got an early bird programme with, what, maybe one or two subscribers. Um, I'm here now, I'm back to make regular content. So whether that is every two weeks, whether that is every month, I don't know yet. I'm going to figure that out. But this is a process that I want to continue. It might not become, it might not snowball into something giant. I may not be the next big scandalous YouTuber doing something, but I do, um, I do want to, yeah, give back. Like I said, I think in that first video where I don't have a beard and I look awful, um, although I did just come in from work, so my hair might be bad now. Um, I do want to feel like when I look at the channel, when other people look at the channel, they are seeing not just someone's experience leaving who's doing okay and surviving and is stable, but also someone who is uh, explaining that process and explaining why it was difficult and how others can follow in the, that way. Um, it's important to me because, you know, I see in the last year I've had a person be disfellowshipped who I knew who, you know, basically showed up homeless and I had to help look after or find or point in right directions, let's say, um, which was an emotional roller coaster. Um, I've had um, people I know have commit suicide from the experiences of, of waking up or um, just having that you know, toll on them. Um, yeah, and so just the thought that, you know, whether I do this forever or not, but that there's a place of content that I have made where I have given back. You know, I guess you could say it's already there, but I want to make that better and do it more often. And so that's what I'm going to try and do. On mental health note, um, I'm back in therapy. Woo! Not for any particularly horrific reason or anything, not because something's going wrong. But um, funnily enough, my ex mentioned that, you know, there's no way that you could be over something so massive in your life. Leaving a cult, being completely cut off from everyone you know, you know, it doesn't take that long to get over. But you, you're acting like it has. And... Um, and I still think that I, you know, I'm dealing with it all right. But it made me aware of like, oh, I would, you know, I haven't been in therapy now for a year. I would like just to check in and start talking about that again in that kind of environment, just so I can kind of um, guard post myself. What's the right word? You know, when you go to bowling, what do they put up? Guard posts? No. Rails? Just so I'm covering all bases, basically. Um, I know it's a luxury because it's very expensive, but Santander, um, that scholarship money is helping to pay for that. So that's great to just process that in that environment. I recommend therapy to anyone who can get it after leaving. I never thought I needed it. Um, and to be honest, I sometimes have thought, did I really need it? But it is really beneficial in retrospect. Um, and so I thought, you know what, I feel like I don't need it again, but will in retrospect, I go, I'm really glad I did that. Probably. So here we are. Um, and even the first couple of sessions have been really nice just to chat um, and have that kind of space to talk about things that you don't really want to burden <laughs> friends with. 
um, necessarily all the time. I'm trying to think if there's anything I've forgotten. I think that's everything. But if I forget something, then in the edit, I will now include some magical, uh, transformational, exciting post or clip about the thing I forgot. But other than that, all this to say I'm back. Thank you for sticking with me. Thanks for joining the channel. If this is the first video you watched, I'm so sorry, this was all over the place. My hair is normally much more stable or I wear a hat. Um, and yeah, thanks for sticking around. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all of the emails. Um, if you want to stay more up to date rather than waiting for YouTube videos, then you have the website, there's early bird program. You have um, my Instagram, I think I link on all of the videos, which I post to kind of socially regularly. And that's, that's how you can keep in touch. Otherwise, leave a comment in this video and I will um, say hi and chat to you there. And, or do it on my website. And um, that I built, amazingly. Um, no, it's gonna crash, it's gonna crash. But um, yeah, no, just thank you for sticking around. I am so excited about this next video, which will be out in the coming days, and I will see you there. Thanks again, and catch you in the next one.